it's towards the end of the day here it's just after three and I am pretty much done for the day I got a yummy muffin here for my wife she made some muffins because we were out working hard on the driveway and uh, there she goes great about this yard. That's how easy it is to take off into the woods. She's got her crampons on. Crampons, not clampons, but crampons. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Kathy, now I remember that word, crampons. Thanks to Kathleen. She caught that in my video and uh, let me know what they're called. Anyway, there goes the beautiful wife up into the woods to enjoy the uh, late afternoon sunshine. Catch a little bit of it and watch the day uh, end here on this beautiful winter day. I uh, spent the day just taking care of the yard here. And that was quite a, quite an undertaking. Ended up having to go to a Curtis Lumber to get a couple, uh, two bags of sand and two bags of salt. It's an icy world out there. But this is, this is winter. This is good stuff. I like this. I like it when it's like this. I mean, it could be a bit warmer, but it's winter. You know? It's a winter day. You can do stuff in this. We probably, have, we have enough snow to enjoy it in one way or the other. Now there's a nice layer, layer of ice underneath there. Uh, let it be winter, man. Maybe we'll get a good good month of fun stuff where we can play out in this. It's time to play in the snow. Listen to me. I'm not a snowman. I'm not a snowman. I don't look forward to winter or I'm not sad when it's gone, but you know what? Once it comes, I embrace it. Once it really comes and we get some decent stuff, like this is cool. Look at that uh, jug of water over there. There's one, it's got the cover on it, and the other one doesn't. That's what happens when you put water into something and leave it outdoors. Uh, it freezes and expands. But uh, that second one, that ice sculpture, like of the jug, that's really cool. I like that. Those were in the garage. I took them out because uh, they start melting and we're going to have a lot of water in there and a big mess. So, no need to leave those in there. Well, I'm just getting the Tin Man going here on this fine afternoon. Hello, Tin Man. You had the afternoon off here, didn't you? One of the late morning in the... Uh, Right into mid-afternoon. You're going to be roaring, though, tonight. Because it's going to be, uh, like, 10 below tonight. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep you uh, probably going all night long. Or a good portion of the night, that's for sure. Well, I saw my wife kick off up into those woods about an hour ago. Maybe it was a little bit more than that. I'm sure it's nice and sunny out there in those fields. I'm sure that's where she is. That's where I'd be. Well, here it is the next day. 
on, well, it's a Sunday, I'll tell you that. So it's sa the day after Saturday, right? And it's just another winter day, and uh, it got to like, um, I believe, almost 10 below last night. I think the low was uh, 8 degrees below. I didn't feel it in here because the Tin Man was rocking all night long. And he is quite full right now. Aren't you, Tin? Yeah, he's got a mouth full. His belly is full. So, yeah, I'll have to let this burn down at some point here and uh, clean the chimney out. I want to clean the chimney out today, but I, I will need to clean the stove out in order to use it because it's it's filling up with uh, ashes. But it can burn for a good... I'd say you could burn this thing for 24 hours before you need to clean it out. I forgot I had this camera with me. So this is day two of cleaning up after this storm. Look at these chunks of ice. That's how thick the ice is in our driveway. I'm just trying to find, get us so we can get out of here. It's all like snow and ice right here. You guys can't hear me, but... How's this for a wintry mess? And then, uh, yeah, I put some salt and sand on it. That didn't do much. This car is frozen right in here. This car's not even moving. Yeah, it's a big mess. I still got, I did five hours on this yesterday. I've been out here for an hour already. I got at least that much more, if not more. Alright guys, I think I'm going to take a little walk up in the woods. Got my uh, crampons on. I'm remembering the word now. Crampons. That's sticking with me, at least for a while. So, I'm thinking I want to find a little bit of uh, kindling. It might be easier to get to it. Or it might not, because it looks like there's a little bit of snow out here. But, uh, it's either crampons or snowshoes. And I think it's more appropriate for crampons. Yeah, definitely. Crampons. It's a crampon day. Let's walk. Yeah, we have chairs situated throughout the woods near the the uh, perimeter of the property here and they're all in different spots here in the woods so we can look at things. Looks like we have some rabbit tracks here. Oh yeah, there's probably some good tracks out here. Nice big pine. That's what we call a white pine. That's a big one. This is like perfect conditions for what I'm doing. What are those? That looks like a coyote. That's interesting, isn't it? Looks like there was some kind of little scuffle here. But... Oh! <laughs> this is where Susan came up, it looks like. That's a human track right there. Alright. I'd still like to keep going up this way. We're just going to skedaddle ourselves over this. Oh, man. It's so easy with these crampons. 
there's absolutely no slippage and just the right amount of snow perfect perfect huh surprised Susan didn't go this way <clears throat> my wife was out here yesterday I filmed her uh, walking up into the woods because I thought it looked like a pretty neat scene and I thought for sure that she would come this way so I'll make her a little trail what's this what do we got going on here out there there is Susan right there oh, she's just missing the main trail Oh, she found it. All right. She's kind of did it her own way. Yeah, guys, I'd like to get out there to that uh, field out there. Let's do that. Came up the trail and I hit the hit the burdocks. Gotta pick those out. Yeah, they're sticky. This is nature's velcro right there. We don't need any of that right now. Yeah, there's all kinds of velcro in here. We came from over there. We're going up there. So, the people that own this property, I'm being quiet in case they're out here right now. They gave us permission to, uh, you know, to come out here during this time of year and enjoy it as they do, which is skiing or snowshoeing. Just kind of walking around. But during honey season, <laughs> off limits, you know? So. Wow. It's beautiful. Huh? Yeah, they come out here and there. Snowmobiles, well, they're four wheelers, looks like snowmobile, and they're skis, cross country skis, and then I think they just grow grass here in the summertime, you know, and then they definitely haunt these, this area during hunting season. This is where I like to come and soak up the sun, it's a great spot. I wasn't planning on coming out here today. Uh, you know, I got a bit to do, but start my next, start my.
There's the river down that way. Uh, this is a gas line here, so they cut this, you know, cleared this. They keep it clear. This summer they were up here, it sounded like aliens were invading. I thought they were tearing down the whole woods. I mean, the, this was here before, but they needed to clear it out again. Every so often, every few years, they do that. So today, guys, man, it's all about crampons. Getting out in the woods with crampons on. That's right. Uh, conditions are perfect, and we are enjoying a winter's afternoon. Wow. Wasn't planned either, and I guess that's the best time to do things when they're not planned, you know? Things can often work out well that way. Look at that. I just realized I need to be quiet. So that's what I'm gonna do. Micro spikes. Micro spikes. Yeah. These are called micro spikes. They're great. They really, really, really are a lot of fun. They make hiking in the woods under these conditions perfect. Yeah. What a blast. I felt like I, uh, I don't know. I felt like a kid. I felt like I had a lot of energy. You know, that these e made it really easy for me to just bounce around the wood woods like a like a creature man you know like a deer like a coyote fox squirrel felt like I was one of them sure I didn't look like I was but anyway we're closing out for now peace guys we'll see you back at camp right down that way all right guys excuse the mess in here in the middle of this uh residency here it keeps things messy it's a lot of work stuff in here, the guitar on the bed and my backpack full of uh, music stuff that I need. And Over here though, here's the cornbread for dinner tonight that my mom made. And uh, got uh, baked bean casserole over here. This is gonna be great. She got some ketchup with that. And what else? Uh, in the fridge, we got some, uh, oh. She made coleslaw too. That's awesome. This stuff is made with love, man. And that makes it taste that much better. Outside, it's still plenty light. Over here, dinner's cooking. You can see it smoking. Well, part of dinner. Actually, I don't even know. Look at this, where I got my fork over here. It's convenient, huh, in the snow? Um, oh, that's cooking up nicely. Probably should turn that down slightly here. Um, this isn't for dinner tonight, necessarily. I may ha have a little bit of it with the uh, baked bean casserole, or not, we'll see. But it's cooked, just about. <sighs> yeah, what a perfect day, man. Perfect day. Perfect winter day. I'll check this one more time. Yeah, I think I'll give that just a few 
more minutes, like five minutes, five minutes, yummy, sweet, it was so sweet up in that woods today, those crampons are amazing. In here, how we doing, Tim Man? Huh? Yeah, huh? Sunday. Yeah, he's happy. Nice and clean. Clean the chimney today. Uh, this afternoon, once a week, it's Sunday, so we clean clean the chimney and. Emptied uh, the Tim Man's belly. He was full of full of ashes, so he's very happy right now and running very smoothly with his little buddy right here, the Echo Fan. And we're clocking in at uh, just 400 degrees. This fire's been going for about a half an hour. Yeah, <laughs> this fire's been going for about a half an hour. Enjoying the light while we can. Gets longer every day. Sun comes up early. The sun comes up earlier. And it uh, sets sets later. Oh yeah, that is looking really good, really good, guys, really good. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Maybe just like uh, three more minutes, five minutes at the most. No more than that. No more than that. How are you guys doing? How's the weather where you guys are? It's beautiful here, man. In the respect that it's a beautiful winter day. Uh, it's probably about 20 degrees right now or a little bit cooler. Sun is going down. It is. What time is it? What time is it, Mr. Clock? Let's see here. <laughs> Just got a message from one of my buddies. These guys that we that I talk with out in a, or you know, we text back and forth. They all live out west or somewhere, and we're all kind of a big group of. Guys have known each other for a long time, so we we keep in contact that way. Anyway, I think this is from Dean. I'm at season two, episode five of Trailer Boys, and Bubbles has replaced. What's that? And Bubbles has what? <laughs> I lost it. Darn it. I'm at season two, episode five of Trailer Park Boys, and Bubbles has replaced Cartman as my all-time favorite character. <laughs> you ain't, Dean. You ain't seen nothing yet. Is it, has anybody out there watched Trailer Park Boys? Because it's, well, it's a certain kind of uh, humor, and you gotta, you know, and you can't have a problem with drinking, you know. I mean, you know, you can't be a recovering alcoholic. I wouldn't, it's whatever it's just you gotta check it out if you can handle that kind of humor it's uh 3 39 in the afternoon right now and let's see temperature right now is isn't it amazing what we can do these days with our phones uh 23 degrees yeah i believe the low tonight is going to be 17. That must have taken up at least three minutes. Me yapping away at you guys. Hmm. 
Tastes really good. Tastes good for chicken. It's uh, two days past its date, and it's supposed to be good. Hopefully, I'm not wiping the smile off my face tomorrow morning and yakking all over the place. I think the chicken's good. I mean, I think it's gonna be all right, and I'm gonna be all right. Let's hope so. Let's look at the chicken, actually. Doesn't that look pretty yummy? That's some fine. Oh, I'm using the wrong fork here, man. Darn it. I'm using a dirty fork. I should be using this fork. Not that fork. This fork. Not that fork. And I was using that fork. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> it's all right. I mean, I wasn't like sucking on the fork, so I was just kind of picking at the chicken like I'm picking at it now. I'm picking at the chicken and that's what I do. Mmm. That's good. It is yummy. But how come that piece is a little bit cooler, shall we say? Cooler. Can y'all say cooler? All right, I'm gonna quit messing with that. I don't know, man. That doesn't really look that appetizing to me. It looks like two lungs or something. Yeah, no, it looks good. That's some mighty fine chicken, and it's pretty much done, but I think we'll give it a little bit. Yeah, it's like, like buttery good. Is that a good thing? I really hope. It looks cooked. Uh, I really hope this chicken's alright because I'm eating it. And I have my last week of my residency coming up. I do not need to be sick. And I do... Take three. Uh, I do not need to be sick. And I do not need to be taking any time off, uh, you know, from work. Or being violently ill with... Uh, or being violently... <laughs> or being violently ill with uh, food poisoning. Which I think I had this past summer. Yeah. I was sick for like two days and it was horrendous. It's the most I ever, uh, it's the most I ever said Ralph in a lot of years, man. I'll tell you what, yeah. Look at those icicles over there. On the uh, old bird feeder there. That's pretty tripped out, huh? Those are cool. Oh, it's so quiet now. Except for me yapping. Oh, that little fat birdie on that uh, bench over there by the canoe. Taking good care of the birds over here, man. They're well fed. They're my buddies. They're my pets. As much as you can have a pet. And check out those jugs again, man. Those uh, water jugs. That's wild, huh? been a good day guys hope you had a good day too and uh wow i am super grateful for today and every day because uh that's the way i roll and it feels real good to just be grateful and these are some really good moments that i had today all around all around good day all right peace out we'll see you soon